So I just want to share some tips of how I take care of my voice personally. Um, personally, and this is a personal choice, and it started when I did Hamilton, is um, I've stopped drinking alcohol, like, almost completely now. If it's a social event, I'll have, like, one. But for some reason, like, somehow it just lost the, the, the desire for it now. And I just have kind of juice and... It's, it's better for everything. It's better for your skin. It's better for your wallet. It's better for, you know, just a lot of things. I, I know it's not for everybody, but certain roles as well, you just, you can't. Like, it's it's really difficult to just have a drinking lifestyle. So that personally, that's my personal choice. Um, when I'm out, because I have personally have had vocal nodules before when I was about 17, before I went to RAM to school. Um, when I'm out and about, and people are speaking to me, I cannot yell back because it's it's a loud club or a festival or whatever. I, I can't. I literally smile and nod. Like if you've got a show, you got to protect your voice and you just smile and nod. And that's, I think that's from Leia Salonga as well. I want to say that's one of her anecdotes. Like she literally wears a scarf and it's just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because sometimes the easiest way to lose your voice is through talking over loud music. And that's to me is no bueno, no, no. Um, I, I have a lot of Manuka honey sweets, which I get from Holland and Barrett and gingin, like chewy gingin treats. I don't know if they're particularly good for your voice because they're probably just sugar at the end of the day, but for some reason it soothes my voice and I like it. Manuka honey as well. Pure is like amazing. Manuka honey is the dream. Um, it's expensive. I, I know, but for certain jobs, it's really, really good. And I also bring a lot of throat coat from the States. It's like this tea from the U S that, um, all the Broadway stars swear by. And like, if you can get your hands on it is amazing. Oh, also one of the most important vocal lessons I've learned is to cool down after a performance, after practice, rehearsal, after a gig, just warm down and like, um, cause your larynx, well mine, tends to sin, sit really high after I've been singing for a long time. So you have to get it back down to a neutral position. So what I do is like, and like, don't be afraid of that, you know, that, uh, I don't know, is that a vocal fry? I don't know. Cause that relaxes your thing. So you'll feel your larynx go down and then um, I do, um, doopity dog, doopity dog. Droopity dog. Hmm. Yeah. I you'll you'll find me doing that after every performance. Just try and get my larynx back down so it's relaxed. Yeah, that's it. That's me. <laughs>